talking about something that I hate more than anything else, which is a lack of boundaries. That's right. In life and in Canva, I am a boundary person. I want to respect your boundaries and I love a boundary. As a designer, I don't feel I'm an artist. I hate starting with a blank slate. It gives me anxiety, but today we're going to talk about it anyway. And if you guessed it, whiteboards, then, then you were right. So Canva has a feature called whiteboards, which, you know, it's not for me, but I'm going to show all of you guys out there because it could help somebody, um, especially if you tend to not be sure how you can use Canva or you want to maximize Canva. Um, this whiteboarding feature could be really helpful if you're in a team or if you are like uh, perhaps my best friend who is in higher education and may use Canva to um, communicate with her team or do some like uh, inspiration like hey we have this project that we need to do or hey how can we get students to do this thing more. This could be a great usage for that. So Canva obviously has all of these other types of things that you can do. Most of the time I cover design, like design, social media, uh, lead magnets, visuals, um, but I promise I will be getting to docs. I will be. It's They're a little bit elaborate and I needed to make sure I had the right thing. Presentations I've covered before, social media I obviously do all the time, video I've done before. Print products is coming. I've designed something on print and I'm just waiting for it to come in so that I can do an unboxing and show you how Canva's printing is and then I will be getting to websites. All in good time. But today we're gonna be covering whiteboards. So when you log on to Canva, you're gonna see this, which gives a lot of you anxiety because you don't put any of these things into folders. Another tip, put all of your things into folders. But today we're gonna be talking about whiteboards. So I'm gonna come over here and click on whiteboards. Whiteboards essentially are just one giant document that have no bounds. There's not really any bounds. It's just a big open space where you can do awesome things. Now, you can also set a timer, which is really cool, and I'm going to show you that feature. You can collaborate with people, so multiple people, it has their icons inside of the whiteboard, so it's really neat. There's a couple of things that Canva thinks that you're going to use these whiteboards for. Apparently, deciding how you would survive a shipwreck at open sea, uh, design thinking, great uh, if you need to tell, convince your significant other that you need more houseplants, you don't. You don't. But if you'd like to try anyway, it looks like you can use this little handy chart. You can also do mood boards, mind maps, team meetings. There's all kinds of things that you can do. I actually really like this little calendar, and I'm going to show you some neat features that Whiteboard has. Start, stop, continue. Oh, yeah, it's one of those things. Now, I don't work at a company, obviously, so some of this terminology is like, what's a stand-up? Like, oh, yeah, right, it's when everybody is supposed to, like, come to the break room and stand up and, right? Is that what I'm talking about? Anyway. Oh, is that a bingo board? Did y'all see that? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, where is it? Where is it? There was a bingo board. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. What does this do? Are you, are you guys playing bingo at your jobs? Do I need a job? Do I need a full time? <gasps> okay, all right. all right. This is a huge distraction for me. We're gonna we're gonna come back to that because that just that just did did too much. That just did too much. Okay. Anyway, back to whiteboards. First, I'm going to start with a blank whiteboard. This is what it looks like. It stresses me out. I don't like not having boundaries. When I zoom in and out, there's nothing here. It's like the infinite, the infinity of space. It's too much. It's too much. But no, we're here. Uh, looks like you can do multiple pages. That's great. I don't know why anybody would want multiple infinities, but there we are. The timer is down here, which could be really handy if you had multiple people within the design. I'm going to show you that team feature in a second. Uh, you can also add notes over here in presenter view, but I want to show you something really cool that happens when you're in whiteboard mode, which is if you come over here to elements, Canva is going to prioritize all these cute whiteboardy elements. So here's a bunch of cute sticky notes. Oh, I keep calling them cute where you can add text. So that's pretty fun. Uh, looks like they're just in a bunch of colors. Um, they're going to put your lines and shapes up front and then they're going to have all these little whiteboard graphics. So if you want to add little shapes and things while you're doing things with people, right? Uh, more graphics, stickers, uh, photos, and then it's all of the regular stuff. Don't forget, you can also make tables in Canva, so that's pretty swell. Uh, so I thought that was really neat that they prioritize putting the sticky notes, the lines and shapes, and the whiteboard graphics ahead of the uh, elements in Canva when you're in a whiteboard so that you can create items. 
Don't forget that when you're in Canva and when you're in one of their documents, it knows what you're in. So you can click on templates and you're gonna see there's a lot of templates over here for you to start with. You don't have to go back out to that main menu. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. Okay, so another feature that I wanna show, I'm gonna click on this team meeting right here. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I decided that size, but here we are. Uh, Canva is going to help you with the flowchart. So if I click on this bad boy right here, you're gonna see there's these little arrows pointing in different directions. I'm gonna click down and check it out. It created the flow chart for me. Down, right, down, down, right. So I don't have to like move all of these blocks around. So that's really handy is doing it with this as well. So super, super cool. You start this, uh, let's do a fresh one. You st huh. Um, also, you can make myself smaller. You can uh, move around this document by holding the space bar. If you hold the space bar down, your cursor turns into a little hand and then you can grab the screen. I would not be able to function on a computer without this right here. Uh, so to do the little flow chart feature, you're just gonna click on a shape. That's it when you're in the whiteboarding. And then you're gonna see all these fun little arrows. Then you can add this sort of arrow. When you highlight this, you're gonna see that it's gonna be kind of sticky. It's gonna wanna stick to the side. Uh, and when you click on the end node right here, you can stick it to essentially a node and that is going to move this together. So then I can do like this and it's gonna create the line for me. Cool, we love it. So for all of you work techie people, here, here you go, it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> the timer feature is really interesting to me. I guess if you wanna give people five minutes on their own page to mood board or something, but I guess it's here. Oh, made a little noise. It's got a little graphic. It's kind of large. Can I move it around? No, it looks like I can add minutes. I can start it over. That's, it's, a, it's cool. It's, a, it's an okay feature. Next up, don't forget that there's always the comment feature in Canva. Some people forget that you can comment on things. So let's say I come over here and click comment. I can tell people how I really feel about their designs and really feel about these things. So I can click comment. You're going to see that it's gonna pop up with my icon, my business, all that good stuff. I can add a reaction. You can also add gifts in case you wanna tell them how you really feel about that. I can reply with that. Uh, and then you're gonna see it's got my little uh, icon right here under view comments that when everybody is in this document, you can see uh, all of their little icons and you can click and say, oh, okay, what did Olivia think about this? She hates it, wonderful. Then you can resolve comments. So if you click on the little um, checkbox right here, you can resolve it and it will disappear. So you can say, hey, got it. I've received your disdain for my design. We're good here. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to share it. Let's let's share it. Uh, let's invite one of my friends who happens to be online. So I'm gonna hit the share button and I'm going to change this to anyone with the link to, can access it. Anyone with link can access it. Link shared publicly. So anyone with the link can edit. Sometimes you can do can view, can comment. Uh, but in this particular case, this is what I need. So I'm going to copy this link and off screen, I'm on a Slack channel. I'm going to invite my friend Becca to this design. You are going to see her icon pop up. Uh, let's actually give it a title so that she could see it design. <laughs> she just asked me if she needed to be on camera. Nope, you don't. And you're going to see, oh, there we are. There is her logo. So you can already see her icon pop into the document. So now I can see where she is at. So I've asked her to, and then now down at the bottom, you can see where her icon is within the pages. Uh, so I can see her cursor. She can see mine. Pretty cool. I asked her to leave a comment. I said, please make it PG. Not that she would... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I can see where she is clicking everything. This is an old brand name of hers. She doesn't go by Alto Design anymore. Um, incredible, there we go. So now she has added a comment. I can click over here to see her comment. Then I can respond to her and say yay and click reply. And you can see she's adding her own little spin on things. Uh, and then I can also resolve her comment, but it's got her icon, her comment, uh, and then her cursor is around. So it's pretty cool. You can see now this document says it's got one comment down here, page one. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And it's pretty instantaneous. It's pretty cool to see that her cursor is around. Um, I will tag her in the description as a thank you. Uh, thanks so much, Becca. Can we add another grid? No. So I'm gonna, no, we have enough grids. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, she might not think that's funny, but I do. Uh, she... <laughs> This is pretty fast. I'm actually really impressed that I can see her cursor. I wonder if we can, like, I wonder if she sees me. <laughs> She's probably really confused because I just asked her on Slack. All right, so that is the whiteboarding feature. Um, comment if you if this is something that you're actually going to do and actually going to uh, need. I do think it's got a lot of other cool features, like um, this is really interesting if you just need to plan your journey. I guess it's... I don't know. I, mean, I love the movie Castaway, but that's still. Uh, I really like the uh, like pros and cons list over here. Looks like there's a ton of other roadmaps, the idea board. I like the mood boards. You can see that she just left. Uh, I like this mood board a lot. I think a lot of these are really cool and a great way if you don't like Pinterest to provide a vision if someone's asking you for it. Oh my goodness. Which office pet should we get? My gosh, do some of you work in offices that just want you to bring pets? So there's a lot of really cool stuff over here. So leave a comment. Let me know how you might use the whiteboarding feature or if it gives you just as much anxiety as it gives me. That's perfectly okay as well. This is the first and last time I will probably ever use this. All right, guys, see you next week. And as always, please respond to this email if you have Canva questions. I would absolutely love to make sure I feature your questions and answer exactly what you guys are looking for. We're getting closer. There's a spark in your eyes. You're losing.